Hello students, in this video I will go through exercise U5AO3B where I will be solving for sides of overlapping right triangles. So the instructions for this assignment says find the missing length indicated. Leave your answer in simplest radical form. All right, I will work on just the even questions here because in the lesson I've specified that I want you guys to uh, answer the odd questions. So you're going to use the even questions as a model. So question number two, I have um, the overlapping right triangle here. And if you recall from the lesson, uh, this we can just directly apply the geometric mean uh, equation there. So I can say L times M is equal to N squared, right? So therefore I can say 36 times 64 is equal to x squared. And you're looking at this here probably wondering like, whoa, that's a big number, right? Uh, that I'll need to take the square root of. But if you look at this, 36 is 6 squared, and uh, 64 is 8 squared. So if I take the square root of both sides, I'll end up with 6 squared times 8 squared, which when you take the square root, isn't that just 6 times 8? So the final answer is just 48. So x is equal to 48. Okay. Next, uh, I have the altitude drawn from the right angle down to the uh, hypotenuse. So therefore, that altitude will partition the um, will partition the, hypo the hypotenuse into again that geometric mean proportion that formula. So I know that. N and I mean 9 and 25. Um, if I subtract 9 from 25, I'll end up with 16. So what that translates to is 9 times 16 is equal to x squared. And again, this looks pretty intimidating, but when I take the square root of 9 times 16, that's the same thing as 3 squared times 4 squared. And that's the same thing as 3 times 12, I mean 3 times 4, which is 12. Okay, number 6. So again, same idea. Uh, I do 9 times x is equal to 12 squared. So x is equal to 12 squared over 9. Or... This is the same thing as 144 over 9, but instead I'm going to do something a little th different. And you might not necessarily, you may not necessarily think of doing this the first time around, but this is the same thing as 3 squared times 4 squared, right? Here, let me do it like this. 12 squared is the same thing as 3 times 4 to the second. So therefore, this is the same thing as 3 squared times 4 squared over, over 3 squared. This is just 16. So x is equal to 16. All right. This length over here is x minus 9. And uh, this length over here is something. Uh, so I will need to use the Pythagorean theorem. That is the square root of 15 squared minus 9 squared. And there's no real easy way of getting around this, so this is simply, um, what is this? Uh, so it's 15 squared minus 9 squared is 144, so that's 12. How could I not have seen this? This is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, of course. So this is going to be square root of 144, which is equal to 12. So this is 12. So if that's the case, right, so I can say x minus 9 times 9 is equal to 12 squared. So I have 9x, or actually I can divide both sides by 9, so x minus 9 will equal to 16. Add 9 to both sides, I end up with x is equal to 25. This is the same problem as the one before, but just going backwards. Okay, number 10. All right, so here in this case, uh, 
you're told that this length is 16 and you want to find out the total length which is x. So if that's the case then that means this length over here has to be x minus 16. So then we can say x minus 16 times 16 is equal to 12 squared. And since I know that the 12 squared is 9 times 16, I can then cancel out the 16 from both sides and say x minus 16 is equal to 9. Add 16 to both sides and x <laughs> equals to 25 yet again. Okay? All right, question number 12. So this side here is x. Uh, so if this is 9 and this is 15, I know that this is again 12. So I can say 9 times x is equal to 12 squared. This is one more time. x is equal to 144 over 9, or x is equal to 16. And that's it.